All right. <clears throat> Shalom. I'm going to say Brock the Hole, Brock the Hole Shah, Brock the Hole, Brock the Hole Shah, Brock the Hole, Brock the Hole Shah. Call all your Hole, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rikah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. I want to thank um, peace and to all your acumen in the four corners of the earth. Teach, preach, your house, shine the gospel. Keep pushing, keep striving. All you aqua, shalom. We almost out of here. All right. I mean, there's a lot going on in the world. I understand. I know it's a lot going on in Yashala. Uh, we got a lot of foolery and fuckery uh, going on uh, within just, just, just within our own people, man. And that's nothing new. All right. What's new? That, that that's nothing new about the high priest wanting to be the high priest or calling it, uh, uh, call uh, what's his name? Girl, damn, I can't. Um, gorilla is Israelite, whatever the fuck you call him, Hebrew Israel. Gorilla, he uh, <clears throat> want to be the chief high priest and all this crazy shit. You know, that's a hey, man. That's them Caiaphas. That's Caiaphas coming back. You know, you know his underlings. That's some Sadducees, Pharisees, and Sadducees, man. You know, that's them coming back. They want to change the scriptures. You know, all the other uh, Paul didn't write Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews. Uh, don't know by or I don't know who he say uh, wrote the book of Hebrews, but the apostle Gabar put it out that it's Timothy. Timothy wrote the words of Paul. Okay, so if Timothy wrote the words of Paul, Paul wrote the Hebrews. Paul's words was is the Hebrews. That's his book. All right, a man put his words down on paper, man, and published it because that was his work. That was his job. His job was to put. The Apostle Paul's uh, letters out, man, and the Book of Hebrews. That was his job was for uh, for the disciple to put the uh, Apostle Paul's letters out, man. All right, so he put them out. So it's it's still you could call it tomato tomato, you call it potato potato. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck how you try to how to how you try to play with words and play games, man. It's still the words of Paul, man. You got an issue with the words of Paul, you know. You got a problem with Paul's teachings. His teachings is against you. Doesn't matter who wrote it down, but he, hey, at the end of the day, he wrote something down for his brother, man. That he was meant, he was expired by Yahweh by Shema Shah. And he did the work. He finished the work that Paul had to finish. He wrote that out for him. And he a hey, and it was published. So it's still Paul's writings. It's Paul's words. However you want to say it. All right. <clears throat> but that ain't even the point of the um. They ain't even the point of what I'm um what I'm going into, but the point is, and and, and the whole point is, is cast me not away. Yahweh, why you was shot? Why I say that? Because man, when I look at people like this, man, there are people like this all around Yashala, man, all around Yashala, man. It's a lot of deceitful men. It's a, it's it's a lot of false prophets and false priests. Whole lot of false prophets and false priests, man, and they come in and, and not just only in Christianity, man. It just within Yashala that know they Yashala. It's a lot of antichrist, man. That's in Yashala. Okay. And I don't like that word anti the word Christ, but it's a lot of Salaki. It's a lot of anti Hamashiach. Okay. Let me let me clean that up because I don't even like saying that word Christ. It's fucking irritating. All right. But which we only know the word means anointed. All right. But still in the Greek, but hey, look, you know, but I'm gonna refrain from that. I don't even say that. But the Hamashiach, man, you know, that's Satan, man, trying to, you know, fumble my words on my tongue, you know, because I'm getting on his demons. But at the end of the day, you know, the truth to it is, is even within our own people, when you learn who you really truly are, Jake always going to find a way to fuck it up. Jake always going to find a way, man. He's always perverse, man. Jake is, has always been hard headed and stiff neck, man. Always. Jake don't change from being who he is. Okay? Jake is the most um, hard-headed, stiff-necked people on this earth, man. 
I'm right quick, I'm gonna grab the scripture. This is uh this is Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 1. 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 This is uh, I'm gonna get two. I wanna um, I know it's one in group. Uh, I was in group two and thirty, I think. Yeah, I wanna go there. Group two and thirty. Um, Salaki, Salaki. Yeah, this no, it's the one to do the round of me. I know. Hold on, give me. Let me go there to do a round of me. Let me go do the round of me. Thirty-one to twenty-seven. Ah, let's see, Deuteronomy thirty. This is Deuteronomy thirty-one, and uh. 27 for I know well hold on it's like you oh, just know that. this is Deuteronomy 31 and I said was at 27 yeah come this is uh Deuteronomy 31 26 take this book of the law and put it in the side of the ark of the covenant of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, our power, that it may be there for a witness against thee. Okay. For I know thy rebellion and thy stiff neck. Behold, while I am yet alive with you this day, and this is Moses, okay, telling talking to the Israelites. Really, it's the Lord, because the prophet, because Moses was a prophet of the Lord. So the Lord used the prophet's mouthpiece. He was the mouthpiece of the Lord. Okay. So he said, uh, while I am yet alive with you this day, ye have been rebellious against the Lord power. How about Shimei was shy? And how much more after my death? That's right, man. So look, look at Jake, man. Look at us. Look at us, man. Look at us. We, hey, man, we the worst category class of people. From all the way from Judah all the way on down to Issachar. You don't get no more rebellious than a Negro, man. And then and then the rest of the tribes on down. Pure rebellion. Do you uh, uh uh do as thou wilt? You know, you all you Alistair Crawley niggas. Nobody, you know, nobody want to do the laws of the Lord, man. Okay, but this this ain't nothing new. This ain't nothing new. This is who we've all. This is who our people have always been. All right. This ain't. This shit ain't some fly by night. That oh, this just happened. Oh, to Israel. All right. This some shit Israel always been. All right, right here. Just let me uh hit this. I'm gonna get another script after this one. Uh, twenty seven. Oh no, I read twenty seven. And even like he said, even when he died, Moses already said, "Hey man, even in death." He said, how much more of my death, man? And how much more after my death? If you niggas do all this rebellious shit, then what you gonna do that I'm here? What you gonna do after I leave, man? After the Lord take me, take me back, what you gonna do? You gonna do you gonna get worse and worse, man. Okay. And and uh Right here, it says, uh, I want to go to 29 right quick. It says, uh, for I know that after my death, ye will utterly corrupt yourselves and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you. And it's even these days, oh, we keep the law, we keep the law. Well, why y'all didn't keep the law then? Because Moses told y'all, y'all niggas was going to go off. The majority of you niggas went off anyway. Even you, all, all you so-called Israelites that's in Yashala right now. You so-called commandment keepers, you so-called law keepers, you niggas still go off, man. You niggas is still wicked, man. You still doing wickedness. 
uh, trying to dog out your brothers, man. Calling yourself high priest and, you know, I rule Israel because I'm 30 years old and all this crazy madness, man. You know, this is some madness that's going on within our people, man. But you just the same niggas, man. You're the same niggas then that you are now. You was then you was that nigga. You are that nigga now. All right. So it don't change. You you niggas don't never change. You always stay who you are. You're true to form, man. All right. You're Satan's child, man. All right. And evil will befall you. See, and that's it, man. And evil will befall you in the latter days. We're in the latter days, man. All right, because the time of Moses, he wasn't talking about Egypt because they came out of Egypt. They was out of Egypt and they were still doing wicked shit. But he said in the latter days, man, the Lord, Moses prophesied. Moses, Moses was a prophet. He prophesied about the latter days that there was evil going to be fallen. Okay? And evil will befall you in the latter days because ye will do evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands, man. Okay, so he had put so uh, the, the verse before I probably should have went into it already, but he pulled all the elders together, man. And he told them, man, you know, the officers, he told them, the priests, he told them all, this is what you're gonna do, man, because this is who you niggas are. That you don't change, everything about you always constantly stay the same, man, you know. You know, all right, let me get uh, let me get uh, right quick. Let me get Psalm 75. I'm gonna go to my swab, we ain't got my sword, you know, it's lucky because my computers don't always run right, so it's lucky for the pauses. I'll be trying to get a scripture up, and then my computer don't work. And I'm now I gotta go search for my sword because I'll be after camp, you know, I'll be put my sword over on the side and I work off the computer for the most part, but I don't always want to work and don't want to always agree with you. All right. But this is uh, Psalms 75 and uh, 4. I said unto the fools, deal not foolishly, and to the wicked, lift not up thine horn. And that's Esau lifting up his horn in power. Okay? Horn is a representation of power, man. All right? Lift not up your horn on high, speak not with a stiff neck, cause Jake do that, you know. Hey Jake, you 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 lift up yourself, man. You know, you lift up, man. You know, you 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 hawk, man. You got a stiff neck, man. You know, slack you up with slack. You got a stiff neck, you know. You speak, you know, you, you, uh, slack for that pause. Somebody was at my door. Hey, uh, yeah, but you, uh, you know, that's you, Jake, you, that's you too. You know, cause you think you got power on this side, you know, especially the women, you know, get a little money, become a part of the boule. You know, y'all think y'all got power and shit, play basketball and shit, you know, looking down on your brothers, you know, cast them off to the side like they ain't shit. You know, that's you, Jake, too. For promotion cometh neither from the east or from the west, nor from the south, but Yahweh is the judge. He put up down one and set it up another. And that's what's happening right here, right now in this kingdom, man. This kingdom is getting put down. Hell, Jake, you getting put down with Esau. Okay? You losing your power through Esau because Esau losing his power. All right? So this, this is reasons why... Uh, Psalms 51 is so heavy, man. Okay, for me, cast not cast me not away because all this because the wickedness has been in our people for so long. Our people have been so wicked for so long. I don't want to be a part of that shit, man. I don't I don't in no way want to be against the will of you. How about she may out shy? I want to be in the wheel. I want to be in his way. I want to be in his work, man. I, I, I beg and pray, man, for him not to cast me away. Because at any point in time, he could turn me into a reprobate nigga just like Alizé. But just like the rest of, rest of these wicked-ass niggas. 
be like Tupac, Biggie, Jay Z, all them wicked niggas, man. Whether if you and Yashala, you not, you still wicked as hell. You still them same wicked niggas back uh, when you was let out of Egypt. When the Lord brung you out of Egypt, man. You still the same wicked ass niggas, man. You don't change, and you're not gonna change. But this your job is not to change. You are who you are, so own up to it, man. It's time to come out, Satan. It's time to come out and stand to say who you are. Reveal yourself, man. Just go bluntly and say it, man. Fuck it, bro. I'm Satan, man. I'm just infiltrating y'all. Say who the fuck you are, man. Call it out. You know? Name your how about Shimao Shai, man. We command you to come and show yourself, man. Because we already see you, man. It's time for you just to say it. We already know what you are, man. All you wicked niggas, you devils, man. Whether you Yashiala or you not, you two thirds, you, you all wicked. If you ain't going to will of the Father, you wicked. All right, hey, this is uh, Jeremiah seventeen twenty three. But I'm about to get in my sword right quick, so give me, bear with me. Bear with me. Like I said, I know I'm like just do it off the computer, but. And it's kind of moving a little slow. It won't. I couldn't get, pull my scripture that I wanted. Sure, <clears throat> oh, go ahead. This is Nehemiah 9 26. They were disobedient and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind their backs and, slow, and slain thy prophets, which testified against them, to turn them to, the, to, to thee. And they wrought great. Provocations. Provocations, therefore, thou deliverest them into the now deliver them into the hand of their enemies who vexed them in the time of their trouble. When they cried unto thee, when they cried to thee, thou heardest them from heaven, and according to thy manual mercy. Yep. <sighs> but but yeah, but yeah, but you know, going to Nehemiah, the Lord said that you know, always been wicked. Always been wicked. You know, so we cast the laws behind us. You know, and uh, you know, and uh, every time we cry, Lord have mercy on us. You know, but the fact of the matter is, it still goes into that, and we've always cast the laws of Yahweh Bashim Shai behind us. You know, we always said, you know, no, we're not doing the will of the Lord. We're not gonna go in the ways of the Most High. We're not gonna walk in the ways of our forefathers. We're gonna dishonor our forefathers, of the righteous forefathers. And you see that now with Jake and in the world today, like guys like uh, um, uh, really evil. You know, dishonoring his fathers, man. His elders, you know. Dishonoring going in the ways of, of, of wickedness. That's right. That's what, that's what we've done to the Lord. So we, we, we constantly cast the most high from our from, from away from us. And when, you, and when you're dishonoring your heads that you learned under and learned from, your elders, when you just, just so so everybody, you know, you know, uh, uh, primarily almost, I'm not going to say everybody, but a lot of people has learned this word from the apostles, elders, a great millstone, man. You know, there's a whole lot of brothers, man. You know, the other guys learn from other people, Zabak and all them and whatever. But that ain't the case right now. But the point is, is that this fool, he came on under the uh, apostles, the elders. You know, he came under uh, GMS. So, you you know, you just cast it. Every, you know, not only did you cast their words behind you, which they words was the words of Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. You cast the Lord behind you, man. You know, ultimately... You know, basically, because because uh, you know they right now is the rulership of Israel. You know, whether you like it or you don't, and you just cast that shit aside, man. You learn from them, got to understand it from them, and to turn around and to slap them in the face with it, man. You know, that's wickedness, man. You just wicked as fuck, and not only just Alize, the whole Israel. You know, there's there's men that's there's men that been in this word for thirty years is wicked. You know, that do wicked shit, that blaspheme the name of the Lord, that uh, call the Lord God and call the Lord Yahiah, 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 Shia. Like, what the fuck, man? It's, it's all kind of wicked shit, man. Playing, mocking the world, playing with the Lord's name, man. Still calling him Jesus Christ and shit. You know? Go ahead. It's Nehemiah 9 and 16. But, but they, but, but they, but thy and our fathers go proudly and harden their necks and hearken not to thy commandments. 
That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Being stiff neck, man. And refuse to obey. Neither were mindful of right. thy wonders that thou didst among them. But right. honor their necks and their and and their rebel appointed and they kept captivity to return to their bondage. But thou art most high ready to ponder grace and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. Right. And and, and, and for, forecast them not and forsook them not. Yea, when they had made them a multi calf and said, This is the power that right. thou brought thee up out of Egypt mm. and had wrought and had wrought great uh po- They brought what? Provocations. Provocations, yet, yet thou in thy manifold uh, mercies forsook them not in the wilderness. The pillar of the cloud departed not from them. That's right. So, so when you niggas needed the Lord, the Lord was there. He knew you was going to do what you do anyway because you, you were set to go that way anyway. But the point is that when you niggas, the minute you niggas <clears throat> got free from Egypt, you go right back into your bullshit. You know, when you when when you when you going through your hell, now you want to scream and holler the name of the Lord, you holler, you holler, you holler. Oh, you holler, save us, you holler, save us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now they're screaming for the Lord. But then the minute they get saved, they get out of it. Now these niggas become the high priests, they rulers of Israel. You know, nobody can say nothing to them. They 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 having uh bottle bitches at clubs, popping their booties, whether it's a strip club or a club, it's all the same. They're still doing some wicked shit. There's strippers popping their booties all around. And you in there at, on a Passover, bro. That ain't how it work. That ain't how it get down. You've been a wicked ass nigga, Alize, for a long time. Because this video's about you, man. Brothers did six, seven years ago, man. I think uh the elder Yashawaba did a video on you. Him and uh him and the Dallas brothers. You know, so you you nigga, you've been wicked for a long time, man. You know, it's just it's just really not, a matter of fact, Amawan Gabar, uh the elder brother Amawan Gabar did a motherfucking video on you two, three years ago, man. About how fucking wicked you are, man. Hey, man, it's time for you to step out and say you are who you are, man. We know who you are. Say who you are, man. We know you now. You already been known, man. Your, your skirt been lifted, man. You naked all around this motherfucker, man. You know, the Passover got you all fucked up. You all twisted. You know, and this really wasn't supposed to be about Alize. We already went on him. We already went on him uh at camp. But uh the but the point, but my point is, is the stiff neck of Israel. Hey man, so I pray the Lord, man. Let me. I don't want to have that stiff neck, man. I don't want to be be hard headed. Okay, I don't want to sit up and think I know something that I don't, man. All right, but right quick, this Jeremiah, this Jeremiah, uh, seventeen and uh, twenty three. I could I could read up higher, but I'm gonna just for this. I'm gonna just for the sake of the time of the video, I'm gonna kind of try to jump through it quicker, quicker. Uh, and twenty three, but they obey not. Neither inclined their ear, but made their neck stiff that they might not hear nor receive instruction, man. You know, and this is and this is the, the time that Jeremiah, you know, uh uh this time Jeremiah was trying to get him to observe the, the Sabbath in a, in a in a proper order. But in these times, shit, Israel was going through captivity, they was getting sent up to uh to the Babylonian king and shit. You know, they end up putting Jeremiah in the pit of shit. You know, they, I mean, this is the wickedness that you do. You know what I'm saying? Just because you don't want to take that correction. You don't want, you don't want to, you you despise the chastening of the Lord, man. You despise, you despise your how about she may shy. You know? His father was 13 and 1. A wise son heareth his father's instruction. That's right. But his scorn heareth not rebuke. That's right. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. Mm-hmm. The soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. Oh, you know, and that's and, that, and that's it. Because you know, a wise a, a wise son here here his father's instruction. Mm-hmm. You know, why son listen to his father's instruction? Our spiritual fathers and also our fathers that's our flesh that's you know in, in the spirit. You know, yep. or if not in the spirit, but still in you know in your life. That's why scripture honor thy father, thy mother. You shall you know you shall uh, Full of things, yeah. But you know, Jacob let me do that. You know, you know, brother, even you know, brothers in the truth, they don't even respect their own actual parents. That's true. That birth them. They feel they don't have to. They feel they, they don't have to because they're not in the truth. Right. But that's wrong, man. That's fucking wicked. Man. Right. 
You know, right. the house shot ever disrespect his mother and his father. Right. You know? Whatever. Well, oh, he said, I'll, I'll be by my father's business. Well, we ain't used to doing the will of the Lord. And, and, and those are considered your elders. Your mother and your father right. are your elders. You know? Right. You're not your house shot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and and, and, and you know if you want to call that this, this he was he was doing the will of Yahweh, Yahweh. You know what I'm saying, Yahweh Shah was doing Yahweh's will. You know at that time, you know. But for the most part, at, like I say, he, you know, never did you hear him in the scriptures. You know, uh, just dogging his people out, calling them bitches, hoes, they ain't shit, they ain't worth, they worthless. They, you know what I mean. He had brothers that wasn't in the in the scriptures. You don't see it in the scriptures where Yahweh Shah said, "Well, yeah, well, they're a piece of shit. They're this." They're you know what I'm saying? He, but you know, because because it's in his in the word from the respect. You know, he had he gave reverence, you know, until his father and mother, man. Yeah. But but a corner here not rebuke, and a man shall eat the good by the fruit of his mouth. So a man shall eat the good by the fruit of his mouth. So if you're if you're bringing the rightful things, you're gonna re receive the rightful things of the mouth, which is, which is good fruit, which is hopefully the grace of the Lord. But if you're but it, but but the soul but. but but the soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. So the soul of the transgressor is going to eat violence, man. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his, keepeth his life. So he that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, man. That's why I go right back to the mouth is a very powerful thing. So when you utter things out of your mouth, you know, you're gonna you believe you're gonna receive those things. So when you so when you get back, so when you give out disrespect to men that catered, that did the work, that put the time and effort in. And built and built this whole thing that we have now. Just think about like across the world, it says, and we have a, we have first a fruit of a, a, a good fruit. You get those that crept in on the wares, try to come up some other way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, denying their teachers, calling them niggas on live, saying that the Lord's going to burn them with fire. Niggas, ain't, you know what I'm saying? You niggas calling them, coming to them, calling them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And those those are not the ways of our fathers, man. See, those are the ways of Rehoboam and Jeroboam. That's yeah. what they done, man. Right? They went against the ways of their father. You know, they went against the ways of King David and Solomon. That's why we had to split between Israel, man. Right? You know, because of Rehoboam. You know, they were they they were, they were wicked, man. Yeah. And, and no tribe already was fucked up. They was wicked as fuck. Jeroboam was wicked as hell. They they said they, they what are you telling me? Just, no, we're not gonna listen to our father's counselors. We're gonna no, get our own counselors. Our own. Make do our own thing. Zone. See, and then see, it tells you that the foundation was already laid. So when Solomon came on the scene, he already had it. He already had a visor set up for 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 Rehoboam and Jeroboam for Rehoboam and Jeroboam to 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 to, to Jeroboam was a general. Yeah, so he was supposed to follow mm -hmm. the the, 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 way, the, the right way. Mm -hmm. So he he already already set up for a visor for him to go on the right path up the Alabaster now. Shot. Right. But what? After he got to, after his father died, he got to a power seat. He said, "No, I'm not going to do that." He went against those ways. He tried to go up his own way. Same thing with Isaiah. The apostles set up the, the apostles and elders out of Connecticut. They set a certain way, a certain standard on, on what how his should be broken down on precepts on certain things. And what happened? Got into the truth, learned something, and now they're motherfuckers and they're niggas and they're gonna be burnt by fire. Man. Mm -hmm. The same way you go into the blue letter, the same way you go into the Hebrew, the way that name of the Lord was from the was from those men, but you're going to disrespect those men. And what's what's the most I gonna to do to you, man? Mm -hmm. What what these gonna happen to you to your to your congregation? You think your congregation is gonna respect you? You know, it's gonna come bite you in the ass, man. Hey the Lord, the Lord will have he he he'll take your whole congregation from you, man. He'll take everything, he'll everything you built. The whole Sakari will be against you, man. You know, man, so I mean, you 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 taught up coming against you, calling you a motherfucker, calling tell you gonna be burnt by fire. When you when you help them grow in the spirit, but you they go and turn against you, man. The Lord can do that to you. Uh, hey, right quick, I want to go up. Let me go uh right here. This is Jeremiah. I was just saying here, I read it down. But I'm gonna read up a little bit. Uh, this is Jeremiah 17 and uh 20. Now 19 it does say of the Lord. Unto me, go and go and stand in the gate of the children of the of the people, whereby the kings of Judah come in, and by the which they go out, and in all the gates of Jerusalem. So, like, let me turn this down a little bit. And it and and so like, yeah. uh, 
Yeah, go out and in the gates of Jerusalem and say unto them, Hear ye the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, ye kings of Judah, and all Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem that enter in by these gates. Thus saith the Lord, Take heed. All right, so we just, this is prophesying. The Lord is speaking through his prophet's mouth. Okay, take heed to yourselves and bear no burden on the Sabbath day, nor bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem. Neither carry forth a burden out of your houses on the Sabbath, on the Sabbath day. Neither do ye any work, but hollow ye the Sabbath day as I command your fathers. So you're supposed to just chill the fuck out. You know, hey, he told him, hey, this just do it the way your fathers did it. Just the way your fathers did it. They did no work. They did no pleasure. They just chilled the fuck out. You know? Okay, now this is a, and, it, and the point is, as I commanded your fathers. Okay, verse 23. But they obeyed not, neither inclined their ear, but made their neck stiff that they might not hear nor receive instruction. That's Jay. Hey, man, that's Negroes all day long, man. That's Negroes is like that. That's ne uh, the, the Northern, the Southern tribe, Southern Kingdom was, I mean, they all hard headed, but boy, but from Judah, Benjamin, Levi, man, hey, the Southern tribe hard, hard headed in a motherfucker, man. Very stiff neck people gonna do it their own motherfucking way. No matter what you say, you know? So that's 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 what that was the point. What I was bringing out, man. I don't want to be like that, man. If I was like that, I was like that at one point in time. I don't want to be that, man. Nobody. I don't want to be that. I don't want the Lord to cast me away, man. Cast me not away, man. You know, in in, in the words of uh, King David, shit. You don't want to get cast away. Was that uh, Psalms fifty one? Cast me not away, man. All right, this is a. Uh, this is uh I'm gonna go to Jeremiah 7 and 15 right quick. This is Jeremiah 7. And uh because look when you get cast away, look at what these niggas do. Look at Alize, you know, in Israel, in Yashallah. Look at all these men who fell out of the truth, man. Who was supposed to be in the truth, man? They got casted away, man. Man, scripture game. We say it all the time, man. Scripture game out cold. But where they at now, man? This this dude, he he don't know how to do nothing no better but to just keep doing following, man. Foolery and fuckery, man. You know? This Jeremiah 7 and 15. This uh Jeremiah 7 and uh, 15. Okay. Matter, I can start up higher, but I don't want to. Let me. This is Jeremiah 7 and 14. Uh therefore, well, no, I'm gonna have to start up. This is Jeremiah's uh 7 and 8. <clears throat> Behold ye, trust. <clears throat> In lying words that cannot profit, right? Hey, saying the book of Hebrews ain't, ain't the word of the Most High. Lying words that cannot profit, man. But then the book Timothy, Timothy wrote the, the, the book of Hebrews to Paul. You know? Right, he wrote it was Paul words that he written. Exactly. He wrote. Okay, so so because because uh, that was his understudy, mm -hmm. right? So all right, but it's still Paul writings. It's still Paul's book because it's his words mm -hmm. to Timothy. He literally in in there, and I think it's like thirteen. Uh, Apostle Barb brought it out. He was reading up. He's like thirteen and like twenty five or something like that. Where he said, you know, he told him it's two Timothy. You know, it was, he was talking to Timothy. So you know what I'm saying. So okay, he wrote Paul's words down, but it's still Paul's book. It's his work. It's his books. He was still talking to to Hebrews. I mean, in a, in the book of Hebrews. All right. Uh, will ye steal, murder? Will ye steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely? That's all he's doing, you know. And burn incense into Baal, and walk after other gods whom ye know not, and command and stand before me in the house which is called by my name, and say we are delivered to do all these abominations. And that's what two thirds is doing, and that's what Yashala is doing. 
Alizé and the rest of them, man. All them, all these uh, uh, priests in in Israel, they call themselves priests. They talk about Jesus, yeah, this, Christ, priest, that, yeah. I U I C. Yeah, and, and you know. It's like, Go ahead. And when you go into it, you think about in England, the time of Nehemiah, you had the high, you had some of the high priests. The niggas was wicked, man. Right? Yeah. You know, it, it maybe the most, some of the most wickedest niggas. Right. You know, the ones that had the rule over Israel, because as far as scripture said, they were given, uh, they 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 were given a piece of it by 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 law. Right. You know, because it, it by 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 uh by basically it was carnality that they were given that role. You know, so let's say we are living in a time of of, of, of old times. Imagine Alize being the high priest over Israel. He'd be Caiaphas. He'd be Caiaphas. He, you know, exactly. You you will be that nigga. He'd be man. like Caiaphas. And he don't if even not, see if it. Not he was that nigga that was a nine year old shot. Right. You know? Did you imagine if Yahweh shot was on the scene? You know what I'm saying? And we, you know what I'm saying? That's who you are, man. Yeah. You're one of them. You're one of them scribes and Pharisees coming back, man. Yeah. The reincarnation. If he ain't caught this himself, you're one man, of them niggas, man. Do something, man. Cause he look at that high priest role, got yeah. him going. Yeah. Like he really yeah. believing that shit. Yeah, you one of them niggas, man. Yeah. You got that heavy. And and Caiaphas was was was, was the most dominant yeah. high priest that who, was out, man. Who the fuck wanna be a high priest, man? The whole our whole thing is to be prophets, is to be teachers, right? Right. That's our whole goal, man. Is to prophesy and teach. And another thing too, you guys ain't focused on prophecy. You're not focused on prophecy. And that's GOCC too, though. GOCC, IUIC. That's all of them. There's so many different. Yeah, they're not focused you know on I mean? prophecy. Yeah. This isn't a time of prophecy. But right. we're, we're, we're supposed to prophesy. The prophets are over all the people, man. Yeah. The prophets are over everybody. JROC or something like that. What's that? JROC or something like that. Man, there's so many different uh, groups out there that be talking Christ and Jesus. Yeah, and Christ. Yeah, they say a lot. Yeah, because because they try they, they try to sound all um I don't know Christiany. They want to be they want to they, they do it like Christians or like they got that church the Hebrew church something some kind of Hebrew we call call on the name of Jesus you know, God, you know, United in Christ yeah United in Christ and United under Bob. I got this is Jude one and four mm. for there are certain men crept in unaware oh, yes, that's right who are before of old before of old. Um, ordained to this condemnation. That's right. Before of old, so he's he's that he's old, he's same he's old, same thing. That's it. He's the same old. He's nigga. the old same nigga doing the old same shit. Right. Also got you a trip. Was that uh, John? Uh, was it eight forty four? You out of the devil? Hey, the lust of your father, you shall do. That's him, man. For there are certain men crept so in. Like yeah. For there are certain men crept in unawares who are before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men. Yeah. Turning the grace of our power into Levi uh Leviticusness. Lecidibus, I'm that word too. Lecidibus, and denying the only true power our Lord Yahweh Shahmash. That's right. And that's hey, hey, And when you when and when you go back and you say that the high priest is the ruler of Israel, you're denying Yahweh Shah. Without we say this that can't, but you you're denying Yahweh Shah without saying it. Without actually saying I deny Yahusha. He's actually doing it through calling himself we under the order of Aaron. But you're not. You're under the order of Yahusha. The Hamashiach. You know? This right here, you, you got something? Well, you, all right, but this right here is uh back to uh Jeremiah 7 and uh <clears throat> 10. And come and stand before me in the house which is called by my name and say, We are delivered. To do all these abominations. Is this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it, said the Lord Paul. Yahweh. So the Lord is watching you, man. Yahweh himself is looking at your ass, man. You know, let alone Yahweh Shai and the rest of the angels, man. Everybody's looking, man. They're seeing you. They're seeing us. They see everything we're doing. You know, the Lord is just, just watching your shit. Like, look at this shit. <laughs> hey, I'm a, I'm a boy. Mm. Man, that's what I say. Don't care. Hey, man, look, cast me not away, man. Cast me not away. You know, I don't want to have no reprobate spirit like these niggas, man. I don't want to be like them niggas. I want to I want to keep firm, hold and firm and steady, man. Ten toes down in the truth, man. You know. Verse uh, 11. No, verse 12. But go ye now. Unto my place, which was in Sh in Shiloh, where I set my name at the first, and see what I did 
to it for the wickedness of my people Israel, man. What did he do to our land, man? Hey, he destroyed our people out of, out of the fucking land. And now, because ye have done all these works, saith the Lord Paul, Yahweh about Shemel Shai, and I spake unto you, rising up early and speaking, but ye heard not. And I called you, but ye answered not. Therefore will I do unto this house, which is called by my name, wherein ye trust, and unto the place which I gave to you and to your fathers, as I have done to Shiloh. Or to, what's that? Yeah, Shiloh. And I will cast you out of my sight. And I have cast out all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. So that's what's going to happen. That's what happened already with Jacob. It's already been done. You know, so how much more now, man? Now what? Now what's your next casting of the Lord? The Lord, what the Lord said, um, 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 uh, man, ah, uh, scripture just left my mind. But what, what, what's the point of the Lord? What the Lord say, uh, you have been stricken or something like that? I have stricken you. Is that, is that uh, Jeremiah 4? Does it say, I have stricken you? Um, you revolt more and more. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, you revolt more and more. You know, what's the point of whooping your ass anymore, man? What's the point of beating your ass anymore? You know what I mean? Like the Lord just said back, like, fuck it, man. I did all I had to do to you. You, you niggas still, <laughs> you still just don't get it. You don't, you just you still don't get it, man. You know, the Lord already put all these things on us to hear you still being that same nigga, man. So you were the devil, you Satan, man. You Satan, you you just you just you a left side, you're on the left side, man. This is who you are. You wicked as fuck, man. You know, your ass is just straight, you just a wicked ass Israelite, man. And right now you working you working for the left fly, left hand angels, man. You know, you working in wickedness. You ain't do ain't not righteous, you know, about anybody any of you uh Jesus Christ screaming out niggas and all these high priest niggas. All y'all are working through wickedness, man. Ain't nothing about you righteous, you know. I'm gonna get uh it's my last script and I'm gonna close out. And, you know, this is just the point of what I was saying. I was going into it because, like I was saying, man, you know, uh, you know, hey, man, you know, hey, I pray the Lord, hey, man, cast me not away, man. You know, I don't want to be cast out, out, not like that. You know, it's already been done to us once before, man. Stay on computer, slow as fuck. Yeah, I got it. It's Jeremiah 5 and 20. 5 and 20. 22. Yeah, 5 and 20 something. Bible chapter verse twenty two. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will, will, will ye not? Will ye not tremble at my presence? That's right. Which, which have placed the stead for the bound of yeah. the sea. They don't tremble at the presence of the Lord. He he placed the bounds of the sea, and they don't tremble. They don't. You know these guys, man. From if we go back to the comfy, he didn't tremble at the Lord, man. Guys like that, they didn't. They didn't care. Them two thousand guys that left. The guys that left in 2012. These guys, they didn't trip. They don't trip. They out doing their shit. They don't care no more. They ain't worried about y'all about Shamal Shot, man. By the seat, hey. What's that? What's that? Perpetual. Perpetual decree that it that it cannot pass it through. The waves therefore toss themselves. Yet can they not prevail through the roar? Yet can they not pass over? But these people have a revolting and yeah. rebellious mind. That's right. They they revolted and, and, and gone. Neither say they in their mind, let us know, let us now fear our power, Yahweh, that, that, that giveth rain both for the former and latter mm -hmm. in his season and, and, and restore unto us the, the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things and your sins have Walk, I have walked old good things from you, withhold good things from you. Uh -huh. For among my people are found wicked men. That's right. They lay wait among, among, among my people. Among my people, man. Among my people are found wicked men. So all through Yashala, man, these guys is wicked, man. They come out with all these new doctrines and shit. You know, new new leadership roles. You know, comforters. 
High Priest, General Johannes. God damn, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's wicked. Among my people come wicked men. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as, as he that sit of a snare. That's they right. They said they trap, they catch men. As a hey, the wait, what that dude say? He said, um, he said, uh uh damn, what did he say? He's trying to flip it over about the Paul thing, about the writings of Paul. He's trying to lay a trap. He's trying to catch brothers in a trap. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all don't know. Y'all want to try to call me wicked, but y'all don't even know who wrote the book of Hebrew. Y'all supposed to be so y'all supposed to know so much. Nigga, it don't, nigga Paul, it was Paul writings, nigga. I don't give a it was Paul writings, nigga. She could some parts they say Luke wrote. It say Luke wrote because Luke was there with Paul. And he say Luke wrote some parts of it. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, you could because back when, when I read my um, I go on my um in up in my heading, you know. Uh when I read in here, it says Luke re- uh wrote some. They even, they even credited some of it to Priscilla. So it's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? So rather Timothy, rather Luke, but it's Paul's words. It's, it's being, it's, but it's, it's Lord's words overall. And overall, we go back to what he said. Yahweh was shot. But he said, that's, that's said the, Lord, the Lord's word. Right. But that's it. What does it come up in the New Testament at all? From among my people are found wicked men. They lay way as he that sits near, uh, set up a snare. They said they trap, they catch men. As a as a as a chance in a full bird, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and wax rich, and they become great and wax rich because some of these guys have have gotten a lot of money off of their followers, off of their their congregation, t-shirts, think about t-shirts. You know, you money. You, yeah, you, know, know, money. you, know, you, got, you know, you got money from office. Yeah. Because you go on a job, you got people don't, don't donate. Donate to them. Yeah, all kind of scars. And another thing, too, though, is that if and in the New Testament it's not right, then we all fuck, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because because that means your house shy. Well, 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 when did your house shy come back? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't start throwing out books. You can't start saying the prophets, oh, they was off on this or they was off on Cause once you start doing that, now you got to start revamping the whole scriptures, man. Now you about to add to and take away. You adding to and you taking away from the scriptures. You know, if you don't believe it for what it is, you 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 you're Satan, man. You adding, you taking away from it. You wicked as hell, man. Now, cause 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 we gotta throw shit out now. Cause if the, the writings of Hebrews ain't right, the writings of not a you got to get rid of Acts, you got to get rid of Luke, you got to get rid of Matthew, same Matt, you got to get rid of you got to start getting rid of everything, you know. Now we got to figure out who Esau is all over again when the end of the world coming, who's the beginning, who's the end, you know. Now, who you know, it, this shit's crazy, man. They you are, know, these men crazy in Israel. Go ahead, bro. They are wax fat, that's right. They shine, yeah. They, they, they hey, and that's his problem, nigga. Wax fat, man. Yeah. He wax fat, man. They got them goodies. They wax fat, they shine, yea. They 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 overpass the deeds of the wicked. <laughs> they judge not 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 the cause. Hey, so he worse than a two third. He worse than Esau because yeah, he knows. Because he, he knows. He knows. He worse than Esau because he knows. Because the wicked is Esau. The wicked, the natural wicked is Esau. Where did they become worse? He's worse than Esau. Oh, uh, yo, man, Lord, cast me not away, man. I don't want to be that man. I don't even want to be like within, around, about that man. Go ahead, bro. They are wax fat. They they shine. Yay. They oh they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Mm. They judge not 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 the cause, the cause of the fathers. Yeah. Yet they yet yet they 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 possess in the right of the need and do not judge. Shall I not visit for these things? Saith Yahweh Basin Yahweh Shai. Shall not my so we advance on such a nation as this. Mm. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. Wow. And the priests bear rule by their means. Mm. And my people love it to have it so. And mm. what will I do in the end, therefore? Thus saith Yahweh Bashir Yahweh. Thus saith Yahweh Bashir Yahweh. That was the word. Hey, man, it's the Lord speaking, man. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I'm you know? So the Lord said, so what should I do with people is this? You know, it said the priest 
do their own thing, going their own way. The prophets prophesy falsely, and my people love it so. You know, because think about it. Why the dudes watch the guard? All of because why? That's why. And another thing too, when they go out, they don't have the e five. You know, with David, no, yeah, they don't wear they, they don't wear because watch, they think it's a GMS thing, right? When, it, when it's not a GMS thing, stay away from. Yeah. It's a house of David thing, man. Right. Because when David went to, to pray to the Most High, yeah, man, in the temple, he had he put he put the linen ephod on, man, which was, which was a garment that covered that that, that covered you all the way all the way down to to past your to, pat, pat, to pat, 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 pat your ride, man. Yeah, down to the uh, to the. But you got niggas out here with t-shirts and fringes, teaching the words of the Lord, right? Not covering themselves. Not covering themselves, man. With the, with the head wrap, with the little, with the little, with the whatever they got, the little head wrap shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All, but all they know how to do is go out there and just cut. Oh, get your scripture, brother. Get that, get, get. And they make it a and they make it a fad. They make it a, 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 a trend. Yes. Yeah, so trend. being an Israelite is cool going out telling the, so far means a devil. It's mainstream. It's it's, it's painting a pretty picture. Yeah. yeah. You got the big fat Passover. It's a big ass show. So besides that song, it's a big show. But you see the niggas at the Passover. Niggas wearing fucking chains. Niggas wearing grills. Yeah, they enjoy it. So they got the hats on their head. Niggas got niggas, niggas, yeah, niggas is wearing they hats. On. They look like regular niggas. You know what I'm saying? They got fringes on the, on the border of their shirts. You know, you got you got niggas wearing shades while they prophesying. Right. Where's that in the scriptures, man? Right. When the prophet ever prophesied with shades on, man? All that long ass hair. Oh yeah, all that long hair. Niggas got niggas with dreads. Yeah. Because why? He want because why? You do you, you the more the more you people you get. Worse. And it is team with us, yep. right? The, our camp, we was at 10, now we're at like, what, seven, eight? Something like that, yeah. Eight. Why? Because what? Men couldn't, really could have been that lot. But men, because why? Men couldn't uphold the ways that we were, we, that we were holding. Right? Right. See, we wanted brothers to be at camp. Brothers can wear dreads. Yep. We had certain, we had certain brothers that do video. We had certain things set up in order, but some men couldn't handle those things. That's so what they had to leave. They had to go. They had to go. So brothers, brothers was getting high. Yeah. Cause why they? Cause why? You know? Cause why they were not brother niggas was getting high. Right. Trying to be the truth. Yep. Trying to serve the Lord. But you smoking weed, man. Right. Can't serve two masters. But they're in that. But why? They come in that spirit of Sakari, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of those dudes come in that spirit of 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 of, of you know what I'm saying of of, of of just being the Israelite like, for the look of it. Right. Sure. Posting on Instagram. Yep. Those, those are those crypted on the ways, man. Yeah. Shit, it's, it's, it's like that smoke weed. They tell you, something. yeah, yeah. That they with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, oh, it's from the earth. You know, niggas is wicked, man. Right. You know, going all they niggas do is go on Instagram and post all day scriptures. Sons of Aaron, man. You know what I'm saying? And so called, we having faith in the Lord, but you ain't doing no works, man. And that's another thing too. Aaron's sons is here, man. Right. Them them niggas is wicked. The Lord put them to death, man. They was burning that strange fire. Mm -hmm. You know, sons of Aaron is here, man. Them uh, uh, the sons of uh, what was that? Uh, Eli. Right, Eli's sons was wicked, man. Yeah, them niggas was wicked. They was uh, banging the, the women all at the, uh, the temple door, or whatever, something like that. Like they was wicked, man. There's a lot of wicked ass Levites, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, man, there's a lot of shit. Look at the Haitians now today. Exactly. Look how wicked they are, bro. They do all kind of voodoo, hoodoo, and shit. You know, because they know they know that shit from the priesthood. They know they can conjure up spirits. You know, and they do that shit wickedly. You know? Yeah. Hey, right quick, uh this let me grab this is uh, Isaiah one and one one and um um one and two. Hear O heavens and give ear O earth. Well, I'm about to just start it. Let me start from the top. All right, this is uh Isaiah. It's an oldie but goodie, you know, it's it hits the point. And this was the, the one I was something I was I couldn't remember where it was because I haven't burned this out so long. I ain't burned the scripture out in a long time. I really have not. Yeah, I can't think of the last time I burned the scripture out. And I couldn't think of this is the one where it said, uh -huh. why are you stricken? You know what I mean? Why yeah, should I strike you more? more? Yeah, you should revolt more and more. All right, but uh kind of slacky, slacky. I was talking to the to the eye. But um, yeah, this is Isaiah chapter. Well, I ain't burned this out so long, I, I forgot it. This is Isaiah chapter one, um, verse one, the vision of Isaiah. The son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uriza, or or no, nah. yeah, well, I, all right, Jaiza, Jophan, Ahaz, 
and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. All right. So like you on that name, I got that one wrong, but you know, go back and you clear it up. Uh, hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord, Paul, Yahweh, Shemal Shai have spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Hey, so, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 gorilla, he was nursed. How was he nursed? Through the apostles. The Lord nourished him through the apostles, man. But what did he do? He rebelled against the Lord. But how? Rebelled against the apostles. He went against their word, their ways, their teaching, man. And so many other men that done left. And he's not like he's not the only one. He's just the one that's on a hot seat. But it's many of you wicked ass Israelites, man. Many of you wicked ass Israelites. All right. Among my people, I found me, me, wicked men. You know, chooses <laughs> your wicked. Uh, verse three: The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. You got heavy sin on you, man. You got heavy, heavy demons. Okay, a seed of evil doers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord Power Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. And this nigga just went backwards. Man. Do it out the window, bro. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Why in that word should go back into like being beat, being corrected? You're like, Lord, like fuck, man. Look, and you, there is no point, man. You just a, you lost, man. You just who you are. You just wicked. Hey man, what's that Revelation uh, uh twenty-two and uh well eleven? Let the just be just and let the wicked be wicked. You know, it, it, you know, so basically is what it say. You know. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart is faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head. There is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. <clears throat> they have not yet been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Okay, so that's you, Jake. That's Yasha Allah, man. That's Jake, two thirds, the whole earth. But we first and foremost, man, that's that's you Israelites from IUIC, GOCC, uh, JOC. AOI, AOS, whatever, man, all you alphabet camps, man. That's going against the word, the Lord, word of the Lord, man. That's all of y'all, man. Y'all all are just fucking filthy, man. Okay? All kind of wounds and bruises and you stink, man. You ever smelt a wound? You ever get a wound that it started stinking, starting to get an effect? Fucking filthy, man. When the when infection get ready to start setting in, you can smell. It'll start smelling. So, you know, you better get you some alcohol or some peroxide and, you know, get you something to put on that thing, man. Because it starts smelling real bad. It's, it's a filthy odor, man. You know, that's 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 him, man. He smells. He's filthy. You know? Just straight filthy, man. All right. This is my last one. This is um. This is uh, Psalms 51. I'm going to close out on this. This is Psalms 51 and 11. Cast me not away. From, no, hold on, I'm going to start up at 10. No, I'm going to start up at 8. This is Psalms 51 to 8. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. And that's that's it, man. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. That's what we want to be clean, man. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than, than snow. Okay? be pure man so we want we looking for the pureness man we waiting for the lord to make us pure it's only one way to get that man it's a stage strong and firm in the scriptures stay with the spirit and wait for y'all to come back and clean us up man you know what i'm saying we waiting to be clean man okay make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou has broken may rejoice Hide thy face from my sins 
We don't want you looking upon our sins, Lord. You know what I'm saying? We don't want the Lord just bearing down on our sins, seeing all our wickedness. We want us to, we want him to forgive us. But these niggas, man, these niggas are gonna make it, make the Lord keep. If it's for, if it, if we couldn't get saved unless all Israel could get saved, man, we fucked. The Lord, they got it's too much sin. It's too much sin just within Yashallah, man. Okay, hide thy face from my sin and blot out mine iniquities. All my sin, everything I've done wrong, man. You know, hey Lord, erase that. Forgive me. Or whatever hell I done put on this earth of the hell I done put against you and Yahweh Shai, forgive me. You know, create in me a clean mind, heart, which it says heart. Oh, power Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. And then these guys' spirit ain't right, man. You know, their spirit is off. Their spirit is wrong, man. Verse 11, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me, man. And that's hey, that's the key. That's the key ingredient, man. You know, I, I, I pray this prayer, man. That was the point of the video was to show Jake how wicked Jake is and to pray for your own very soul, man. Pray for your own very spirit that the Lord cast you not away, man. I don't be cast away like these other niggas, man. I want my spirit to keep pumping and keep pushing and keep doing the work, man, until Yahweh shall come back or just die doing the fucking work. Whatever the fuck. I don't fuck it, man. The Lord, no, man, I'm going to just keep doing the work, man. Either I'm going to die or Yahweh shall going to come back. Shit, but I'm going to keep doing this work, man. You know? All right, hey, man, I'm Yaqua. Yeah, man. Hey, man, we two of the uh, eight brothers of YSO. You know, uh, hey, with that, call Lord Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekak Wadash, Double Honest, Pastor Elders, Great Millstone, who rule and teach well, peace, salutation, all you Aki four corners of the earth, you know, all you Aqua, keep listening, keep learning, hey, look, we almost out of here, we will be out of here, hell, we gonna be out of here, man, this, hey, this, this shit, Satan is coming, and he's showing his ass, man, so it's time for, you know, call Lord Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Yahweh Ratazah, we be out of here, you know, uh, this is why I so I want to say uh Shalawan, Wa Ba Ba Ba, Kwam Yashala, and Bawaf Dawa Da. Bawaf Dawa Da. Shalom.